New on Curiosity Stream, how do you connect a 16th century potato to limitless energy production? Could Napoleon's toothpick have a direct link to a machine that predicts the future? And how can a 1700s conch shell chart a course to humans connecting their brains to the internet? James Burke's visionary series Connections returns for a new generation. Experience all new Connections with monthly annual and bundled plans. Find the one that works for you at curiositystream.com. J360 Ray. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by J.M. Brady. I am your host, J.M. Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, guys? New week and all, right? <laughs> yep, welcome back to the Mini Bites here for episode 102. How are we doing it? We are slowly but surely getting on the road to 200 for this series, and I'm telling you, I have a lot going on right now. And to be, uh, to, for starters, here's the thing. Now, I know that there was supposed to be a J360 Power Play event happening. Well, it's supposed to happen last week into this week, but it ain't going to happen right now. Because guess what? The Monster Fest is just around the corner. Yeah. As it's sitting right there, and I'm like, you know, there's plenty of games to play for the Monster Fest, and there's a lot of interesting things happening now, and stuff's looking oh, decent over on YouTube. Let's go on ahead and incorporate that in. So I'm mixing both events together this year, and I'm going to see how it all plays out. Not to mention, I think the rest of the crew is going to like it. For those that actually um, have been on the Showdown series, it's going to be a very nice event. And I like to say, um, you know, that Back for Blood actually looks really good. It does, it does. If you played the beta, let me know how it all turned out, because I haven't been around the house like that. <laughs> So, you know, as soon as it was, like, the green light to go back to day jobs and stuff, I started applying for every damn thing because, well, you know, in the process of moving and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, like, working my way up, uh, you know. So, you know, just let me know how that beta went. But if anything, I'm thinking about that being a highlight for what's to come. Not to mention all the beat-em-ups I found and things like that around here. So it's going to be pretty interesting with that whole thing. And not only that, I'm looking at different movies to bring into the Monster Fest this year because you don't want to repeat what you did last year or the year before that. And technically, this is the third year of doing this. So that's a lot to look forward to. And uh, I'm going to have the dates posted for that and everything else. But I will tell you this, keep an eye on the J360 logo because that'll let you know when things got started. You understand what I'm saying? As soon as that logo turns red, that's your opening ceremony. (laughs) <laughs> so you know a lot to look forward to not to mention some of the scary stories i have around here but you know it's just one way or another i'm working on laying out the processes for it making sure that everything goes smooth and the monster fest since it's like the biggest event that i do all j360 shows are in it like from the mini bites to the j-man show to the hangouts to even jams so, any of you out there making Dark Synth or that hard-hitting kind of music, uh, good evening, let's work, because this is your time, even though every year's your time, but this is your time right now, at the forefront of it all. And then I know some of y'all are like, oh, he's not going to play my music now? I didn't say all that. I didn't say all that. Don't y'all do it. Don't y'all do the marginalized game, because I can do that too, and we ain't doing it like that. All right? <laughs> All genres are welcome. I mean, if you're based off of that. Like I said, I I try to break that whole thing all the time when it comes to jams. Like, jams is not a synthwave show. Jams is a music show. I don't care if you're playing opera and you're singing it out of a Campbell's can. I don't care. It's still music if it's good. And if you believe in it and if you want it out there, yeah, we will work with that. You know what I'm saying? I remember somebody going ahead and trying to say that. And then they tried to submit me one track. And I'm like, you really are a giant a-hole, aren't you? <laughs> hey, sometimes that's just me. I mean, as like it's amazing how being a producer, you have to look at all these different things. And then it's like you have a set of rules and stuff. And then, well, here comes somebody else wanting to try to change them. And it ain't going to happen. Not on this watch, anyway. But... You know, I love the way that Jams 29 turned out. Jams 30 will be next week. But as for this week, you're probably wondering what we're going to be doing. Well, it's Hangouts week. And you see, I have a very important guest that's going to make his debut on Hangouts. 
and um, you will be surprised on who it is. I'm not going to tell you on this show. I'm going to tell you on the J-Man show, which is tomorrow, and like lots of cool stuff. This this particular guest was awesome. Well, hell, all my guests have been awesome. And then, of course, you know, I'm still going to go ahead and uh, do some more booking. The next guest is going to be just as good, too. Because, um, let's see, how many episodes am I ahead? I think 24 is the one I still have to book for. So, hey, if you want it, go ahead and email me at j360productions at outlook.com and let's get something started, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like, I've been working on that. And speaking of the Jam Fam and all of you content creators out there and stuff, I know a lot of y'all been saying, hey, we need like a meeting place. We need a spot where everybody can come together and um, actually do some community events. We tested out a community event, me, Al, and Blast Pass. And outside of all the websites that have been floating around, like, I mean, Twitter has a thing called Spaces now. Uh, Clubhouse finally accepted my stuff, and I have a Clubhouse now. In addition to all these other micro sites out here, I think even Lemore wanted me to try out something, which I'm going to work on. But see, those are more like my solo stuff. So I can go ahead and do that stuff over there. But I need a home base for everybody. And I had one the whole time. It's called Discord. Yeah, I've been sitting back working and doing a crash course on Discord to the point where I think I pretty much got it where I want it to. And when me, Blast Pass, and um, Alan, which is not grammar, but we'll go with it this time. (laughs) <laughs> when we all came together to go ahead and do that community event and i think neon sweatsuit was in the audience that was pretty cool that's exactly what i wanted and since we're there at discord and there's variety with it and you guys can talk to me on the power play and i guess on any show that i do with it there's so much variety with that we're, we're working with it so discord is our spot that's our home base now and then as i go ahead and i get the rest of the jam fam over there then i will make the whole thing public and we'll see who we meet up with you know what i mean so, yeah, strategizing, baby, strategizing. And it'll be fun. It'll be fun. You know, that'll be just our whole thing. I know they have rules about certain things that you can't be saying and stuff, as they all have rules. But let's see. Um, when's the last time I actually paid attention to those? <laughs> Never. But, hey, just be a decent person. You know what I mean? Let's just go with that. Whatever happened to that, right? You know, a long time ago when you could just have an opinion and just go on with life. Or like, say like, you know, a long time ago, just because their words doesn't mean they'll hurt you and stuff like that. A long time ago, it used to be like that. But nowadays, not so much. And I can go on about that, too, because I've seen some wild stuff today. Oh, by the way, nothing's wrong with your speaker. I'm just eating a cough drop right now. You know, I can tell it's about to be fall and stuff like that because I'm starting to get like... You know what I mean? Like that whole thing where it's like, you know, you start not feeling a little well, but you start feeling kind of kind of messed up, like in between seasons. So, yeah, it's starting to get like that. But, yeah, it's not COVID and I'm totally okay. Matter of fact, you notice something? As that whole stuff was going down and it's still going down, you know, we got to wear a mask again. I was like, ah, Damn. But then again, I shouldn't be so upset because I haven't seen my the lower half of my face in years. With all this shrubbery around me, yeah, I, I really haven't. <laughs> so I got to wear a mask over top of my beard again. I'm just going to have to get used to that crap because I was like, I was happy too, guys. I mean, like, I was like, yes, yes. But then it turns out that somebody caught COVID in one of the buildings next to my work building. And I was like, ah, damn. Here we go again. Delta! But yeah, you know, it's just, what can you do? I mean, like, you think about it, like, say, like, if you're responsible, well, chances are you probably share a living space or whatever with people who are irresponsible or people who choose not to follow through and they think things are a hoax until they start suffering from it. And they're like, gee, how could I prevent it this? So, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy where we are as a people. And I always wonder which way is up. And then even with content creating, that gets kind of weird. Because some people, uh, I don't know. It's just stuff on the J-Man show I should cover. Because this is only a 15-minute show. But as we get to the point right here, though, and we'll go ahead and we'll put a pin in that. So you already know about the transfer shifts here. You already know like about Discord. You already know like what the layout looks like, and that it's Hangouts Week, which, by the way, those of you groaning in the back, stop that BS. I know you're back there. Hangouts is a damn good show. It's just as good as jams. 
Don't even try it. <laughs> Shoot, that's why they alternate. But, like, as I go through the itinerary on this, let's go ahead and talk about the schedule. Now, see, as far as the schedule goes, of course, you got the mini bites right now. You got the J Man show happening tomorrow. And then you have Hangouts happening Friday. And then, you see, you're probably wondering about what the J360 Power Play is going to be, right? Well, Thursday is a production day because I'm getting all the loose ends on that wrapped up. Matter of fact, all the conversions going over there to J360 TV, I'm going to get as many of them as done as possible. I'm going to try to get all of the J-Man Show first season. And, you know, i got to wrestle with Content ID in addition to... Um, it's not just Content ID. It's also the algorithm about, like, which of my episodes are more offensive than the other episodes. And keep in mind, I joined the Navy in the first season, so, yeah, all the swearing and all that stuff. So, I got a big box of uh, appeal letters to go ahead and send YouTube, and I better not send them this one where it's like me holding up the middle finger. <laughs> Never mind that. But you knew this is just the way it works. Because, I, uh, you know, after all, we got to be squeaky clean. We got to be approachable. People have to like us. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not into that. I'm totally okay with people not liking me on one sort of spot here. You know what I mean? That special 5% of people. Whereas everybody else really likes me, so it's really, really interesting. And I mean genuine growth. <laughs> but yeah, so if anything, like, it's a production day on Thursday. So not too much is going down other than, like, just putting stuff up on the YouTube channel. And then, of course, you got the links to the Twitch, the YouTube, and all. And as for the Power Play series, this Saturday is going to be a Showdown series episode. So it's going to be featuring me and a lot of people from the Jam Fam all over J360 Universe just battling it out for, you know, S and giggles and lots and lots of loves. And S, yeah, that's what it should be. Because, I mean, a lot of us are just really, really working hard and all this other stuff. Like, if anything, that's just a nice break from reality and everybody should enjoy themselves. Because we had a good time last time. And I'm not sure if any of y'all saw that episode. Because things have been kind of crazy with the upload game around here. So, I'm going to solve that problem on Thursday. Uh, hell, I'll probably solve it by tonight. I mean, I got plenty of time. Why not? <laughs> But yeah, it's just been a very interesting time around here, especially with the content creating and all. And then not only that, I still got some stuff to lay out for the movie side of this whole company. So yeah, I remember somebody asking me about that. They were like, oh, well, when, when is another movie coming? And I'm like, as soon as I'm done writing it. To which, let me pull out some of my drafts. And I have quite a lot of them over here. Yeah. <laughs> hey man i've just been staying busy with that and as all of you should because you know like hey this covid stuff it's a pain in the it's a pain in the ass yes but it will not last for i hope not i'm hoping that we bounce back and the thing is as soon as we do i'm hoping that we're able to go ahead and go for some of the things that kind of held us up because i don't know about you but this feature needs to be made I'm just saying, and quite a lot of these short films need to be made, too. Not to mention, like, um, this concert special here. Well, I'm already working on one later in the... Actually, I've said too much. You guys are going to see something very interesting by the end of the month, though. So, you guys just have to stay tuned until then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, though. So, you guys take it easy. Remember, the J-Match show is tomorrow at 10. And we'll go more in-depth with a few things, too. So, you know, just stay tuned, okay? This is J-Man signing off. Peace. New on Curiosity Stream. I'm James Burke. I'm going to take you on a journey through time. James Burke's visionary series returns. Reimagined for our time. Now, this is all uncharted territory. The Washington Post hails Burke as one of the most intriguing minds in the Western world. The New York Times raves he careens from one great moment in history to another. Where do we want to go from here? Experience all new connections. So what's the next connection? With monthly, annual, and bundled plans, find the one that works for you at curiositystream.com.